is Ray Anthony Hyde. I'm on Heritage Hip Hop. Long from New York Comic Con. I'm with a legend right here. Tell them who you are. My name is Ray Anthony Hyde. Of www.rahype.com. That's right. And what brought you to Comic Con today? Promoting my book, The Midnight Tiger, and you know, general work stuff. You know, I've been in the industry for a while. All right, oh, wait a minute. So, The Midnight Tiger, this is a new character. Yes. Can you tell me about your character? So, imagine. <laughs> Peter Parker and Gotham, but he's black. Peter Parker and Gotham, but he's black. That's very interesting. And Doge, tell me some more. All right, so this is kid, uh, Gavin Shaw, he's a lead character. And he grew up loving superheroes and everything. And idolized him. You can almost say he studied him. So, you know, he's looking at his, his city, which is Apollo Bay. And Apollo Bay, not a lot of heroes or any come here. But, I mean, it's, it's like Gotham or, you know, L.A. or one of the darkest places here, it's an urban area. Uh -huh. And they're underfoot, you know, you got your crime, you got uh, drug dealers and stuff like that, and nobody's helping, not the cops. So that's why he's looking at superheroes again, and they don't want to help. So instead of, you know, kind of holding out for them, he ends up becoming a superhero of his own. So this is a hero without powers. This is a hero with moral obligation? Well, he actually ends up getting powers. You know how sometimes you wish on things a, a lot and, and just kind of things happen? Well, one of the heroes that he was looking up to he actually went to a city but he was hurt. And he helped him. So at that, he transferred his power over. Mm. So this is kind of like spiritual. Yes. It's a kind of, uh, it's kind of like laying a blessing to uphold the mantle. Yes. So that's the thing. So that hero was part of a group, and he wanted the group wanted him to take his place. He said, No, no, no. I'm not taking his place. I need heroes in my city. Right. So he stays, and they decide if you want me to be a part of it, then you're gonna help me clean up my city. That's the deal they made. I like that. I like that. So this is not a book based on the big bad, the power, and the unstoppable force. No. This is a book based on morality yes. and looking into your inner self to find your own power. Yes. And what he wants to do is uplift his city and bring back the hope that his city once had. Because right now, I mean, they're downtrodden. You know, they, they feel less than. And the thing that heroes do, they bring home. And without heroes, you have no hope. And that's what he wants to do. What I like about your concept is it's a community-based superhero. Yes. Now, in comic books, we naturally do not get that. What we naturally get is the individual with the power that does good. And what you're telling me is this is the community making an individual and him wanting to give back. Yes. That's exactly it. I like that. I like well, that a lot. They get behind him. You know, in the books, they really get behind him and they, they kind of say, hey, you know, we finally have a hero. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure he represents everything that we need. So, being that it's a different take on the comic book genre, and it's very original, what was the inspiration behind a community-based and community-supported superhero? I grew up in Compton, you know, and it's kind of funny because there's not a lot of heroes there. I mean, we, we have all kinds of heroes other places and stuff, but when you see on the news, especially in the urban areas, the thing they want to promote is just how bad it is. And anytime you promote anything bad, you start feeling bad about where you're from. I'm proud of where I'm from. And that's what this is about. It's about being proud of where you're from. You don't have to, you know, be what people want you to be, stereotypes. You can overcome that, surpass that, carve your own path. So, that leads me to a very good question, which is, I want to take my time and say this the correct way, and not rush it. The question then is, being that people of color and the urban diaspora and the urban conscience is a fad now in comic and sci-fi industry, what stands out of your story to make it the heartbeat of the new genre of books and storytelling? Because being black is an experience. It's not something to describe you. It's an experience. And it's just an adjective. We're all people. What we look, the way we live, any urban, you know, Latinos, Asians, that's an outside people. Underneath all that, we're just people. 
And that's right. what this is about. But it is about the experience of yeah. being ethnic. And the things that we have to deal with that is different. Yeah. I have people coming to me all the time, all different nationalities, that say, I can see myself yeah, I'm in I'm this game. Like because it's not, you know, trust me, I'm unapolog unapologetically black. But when you read this, it's like me when I was a kid. I mean, I'm just a kid growing up in this particular place. You know, I, I didn't see myself, I'm a black kid going to this place. We're all kids, we all can all relate with these things. It's just our experiences are different and this is an experience. And that's what it is. You know what I mean? That's, that's the whole thing. So that's what makes it different. It's not a fad, this is just a life. And this is about a kid who's a teenager who lives in a neighborhood that he knows he needs to clean up. He sees despair in his people and everybody wants to have their people happy. Right? This kid just happens to be black. I love that. I love that. So, for everybody out there at Heritage Hip Hop, we want to support the art of Ray Anthony Height. Tell them about you, how to get in touch with you, and how to purchase your books. You can purchase uh, Midnight Tiger online at uh, comicsology.com. It is through publisher Action Live Entertainment. We're actually going to do an ongoing series starting next year. And uh, you can find me at rahight.com. Well, just type in R.A. Hyatt on Google. I'm the first R.A. Hyatt there. He's an original, everybody. He's the original. All right, man. Well, look, it was an honor and a blessing to get to talk to you. Pleasure, man. And everybody who watches this, support the art and support the people. Because if you want your voice to be heard and to be relevant, you got to open your mouth to be heard. Peace, Heritage Hip Hop. One.